Many a times you might have seen some numbers in triangular shapes below your plastic products. What do they mean? Are they really safe from any harmful toxics? Let's figure this out. Well, this number is called as the resin identification number which particularly tells of which plastic type or polymer is the container made up of. We can also find whether the plastic is safe for daily use or not. This video has all your answers. I am Adarsh and you are watching the Brain Feed. Let's get started. Number 1 PET or PT which is polyethylene terephthalate. It is the most well known member of the polyester family of plastic polymers. It is mostly used in many kinds of water bottles and various types of containers as well. But these plastics may leach antimony as antimony trioxide is used as a catalyst and flame retardant in PET. Also warm temperatures inside cars, garages and enclosed storage areas increase the release of antimony. So instead you can use stainless steel reusable water bottles and containers. My suggestion? Avoid using PET bottles. They may be safe for a single use but do not reuse these bottles or containers again. Number 2 HDPE that is high density polyethylene. Polyethylenes are the most widely used family of plastics in the world. It is mainly used in making plastic bags, juice containers and for various packing purposes as well. My suggestion? It's relatively safe but it may release some endocrine disrupting chemicals. Number 3 PVC which is polyvinyl chloride. It is the second most widely used plastic resin in the world, but its use has decreased considerably due to serious health issues and environmental pollution. But still, as it is cheap, it is used in toys and non-food packaging. It is mainly used in manufacturing plumbing products like pipes. PVCs leach very toxic materials like dioxins, mercury, lead and cadmium. My suggestion? Avoid at all costs. It can be extremely toxic. Number 4 LDPE which is low density polyethylene. This type is used mostly for film applications like bags, plastic webs, coatings etc. My suggestion? It's relatively safe but still may release some endocrine disrupting chemicals. Number 5 PP which is polypropylene. This type of plastic is used for similar applications as polyethylenes but is generally stiffer and more heat resistant so is often used for containers filled with hot food so it's basically your food grade plastic my suggestion it's relatively safe but has been shown to release additive chemicals when used as labware in scientific experiments number six ps or polystyrene polystyrene is commonly associated with the trade name styrofoam Thermocoal is a type of styrofoam. So, as you all know, styrofoam is used in food containers, egg cartons, disposable cups and bowls, food plates, packaging and many more. But they leach styrene and is considered as a brain and nervous system toxicant. It may have adverse effects on genes, lungs, liver and the immune system as well. My suggestion? Avoid. It can prove to be extremely harmful for health. Number 7. All other plastics. Well, this category is a general catch of all kinds of plastics other than those identified by numbers 1 to 6. It also includes bioplastics. They may be layer 2 and also be a mixture of various other plastics. So nothing can be said about them in all. Conclusion. Numbers 2, 4 and 5 are fine for limited use. but Numbers 1, 3 and 6 must be avoided as they can prove to be harmful. So share this video to make people aware of this useful information. And subscribe to the channel to join our team and get a notification of my new uploads. Finally, thanks for watching.